morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. No, it's not because now I'm exhausted. Um, welcome to another week. I honestly can't believe how fast a week goes by. I thought that weekly vlogging would be a little bit more leisurely, but anyway, I'm on my way to PT because where else do I go? I am getting ready to go and get an echocardiogram. If you don't know what an echocardiogram is, it's just kind of an ultrasound of your heart and your valves just to make sure that everything is still working properly. Um, in EDS patients, there are some things that can go wrong with the heart valves. So they recommend that every few years you get that checked out again. The last time I had one was a few years ago and everything was totally fine. But when we started to find the vascular issues in the blood vessels in my brain, we decided that it would be a good idea to have a repeat echocardiogram just to make sure that I'm not having any issues in my heart. I'm sure that everything is going to come back normal, um, but you never know and it is good to keep checking. Wish me luck. <laughs> Well, I'm home now. Sorry I didn't bring the camera in with me. I thought about it, but it's all a little bit too naked. Everything went really well. The guy who did it was so nice. I'm probably going to get the results back within the next week. Hopefully not sooner than that, because if it is sooner than that, it probably means something's wrong. So, fingers crossed I don't hear from them. <laughs> Like I said, having an echocardiogram is definitely something that's recommended for EDS patients. You really just want to know what you're dealing with, especially when it comes to heart valve issues. So if you haven't had one yet and you're curious about what it's like, it's really not that bad. Definitely not one of the scary tests. You go in and they'll have you take everything off above the waist and they'll give you a little Johnny to put on. And then the tech will come in. They will probably put on like three of those little sticky leads. Then they will just use the little ultrasound wand and some of that ultrasound gel to get a better look at the valves of your heart. The tech might also ask you to turn over or change position so that they can get a better angle. Ladies, it can be especially hard with us because of course your heart is in your chest so sometimes there's quite a bit of tissue in the way. The tech will probably also ask you to hold your breath or take breath in at certain times and hold it. That's just so that your breathing doesn't really get in the way of their images. That's really it. The test usually lasts probably like a half hour. It's really not that bad. It doesn't hurt. The worst thing about it is probably just the awkwardness if you're not really used to being sort of naked. Not gonna lie, when the tech walked in today for like a split second, I was like, no, <laughs> because it he was male, I was expecting female, but it was okay. It's their job, they do it every day. Believe me, you're not really that special. I'm sorry. So if you've been putting off your echocardiogram because you're nervous about it, please go get it done. It's super important and it's totally not scary, I promise. Guys, look what came in the mail today. A week ago, a girl named Michaela reached out to me on Instagram and she was asking if I had a pick line cover. And she offered me a coupon code for a site called Mighty Well. I believe that I've seen their Instagram in the past. Anyway, I decided, what the heck, it's the holiday season. It would be nice to have something more sleek to wear to parties and stuff. So I bought one. I figured it's kind of perfect if I try it out now since I'm about to film my video about my pick line. I'm not sponsored by this company or anything, but Michaela said I could share the coupon code with you guys. So if you are interested, the code is HEALING16. It's just one word. You just type this in at checkout and it gives you 10% off, which is really cool. And Michaela also said that you guys can feel free to message her with any questions. I'm obviously just trying this out now, but she's been wearing these for a while and she really likes them. I will definitely link her Instagram down below. She is so sweet and she is fighting Lyme disease and POTS and PVCs, but she still manages to do a lot of advocacy work and she's just really cool, so check her out. 
it's going to be hard to see since it's black, but there's these little holes. And then when you're not using it, you just flip it over. That is so cool. I already really like it. I will definitely update you guys on this in my video about pick lines. This is so cool. And make sure if you're ordering this that you order the right size. You really have to measure your arm. You can't really just like guess. Okay, I'm really excited to go try this on. So see ya. Hi guys. I have to be kind of quiet because it's the middle of the night, but I had a really great night tonight. I was able to attend a really lovely Christmas party at my boyfriend's house and see some of his family that lives out of town. So it was just really special and it felt really good to get out and, you know, just be kind of normal <laughs> for once. I did not bring my camera and I don't really want to apologize for that because I really just wanted to enjoy the night and the moment and I didn't want to be sticking a camera in people's faces and so that's what I did. I kind of have a feeling the rest of this vlog is going to be a little bit like that. We have family coming into town, we're having a big celebration with my mom's family and on Christmas day we're going to my dad's family's house and having a big celebration with them. And then the day after that is my birthday, which hopefully I will vlog. <laughs> but I just really don't want to apologize for taking time with my family and enjoying myself. I really hope you guys will understand that. Anyway, good night. I have to get to bed because I have PT tomorrow when I'm so exhausted. Good night. Happy Christmas Eve Eve. I am just so excited for Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to sit on the floor. I did get an email from our patient portal. If you don't know what a patient portal is, it's just kind of an online site. You can usually sign up to be a part of it, but they upload your medical records and doctor information. You can usually get in contact with the doctor, stuff like that. So I got an email from them. I figured it was a message about a medication I needed updated, but it was actually telling me that my test results were ready from the echocardiogram. So I just took a quick look thinking that it was just going to say like everything's okay. But it was a bit more detailed than that. They kind of went through each and every valve of the heart. So the good news is I still do not have mitral valve prolapse. Which is usually what they're looking for in EDS. But I did notice that in a few of the valves they said they noted like regurgitation. Which first of all sounds really gross. It kind of threw me for a little bit of a loop. I'm not going to get too worried about it because I haven't spoken to my doctor yet. I'll see her next month. Don't know how common of a thing that is. Like maybe it's something that is seen in the general population and is totally benign and fine and whatever. But it is always like a little bit alarming when you see something come up in test results when you really were hoping that it would just be nothing. But it is what it is and... Having those answers doesn't change what's going on. So I am just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I've been having these weird episodes, I guess, with my heartbeat for years. And they've really gotten worse over the last few months. I don't know. It just kind of it feels like all of a sudden there's like an extra beat in between my other heartbeats and it's like super strong and it kind of feels like you got punched in the stomach and then you have to gasp. I told my old cardiologist about that years ago and she was like well as long as it's not happening frequently and it's over so fast it's probably not a big deal. Now it's happening frequently but it's still really fast so I don't know it's probably nothing and it's probably fine. Maybe this is the answer to why that's happening and maybe it's not. I'm just trying not to get too into it because I really just don't want to get worried about something that's not a big deal. I think it's just like the valves are extra floppy so they don't quite close correctly. But like I said, there's nothing I can do about it now and I see my cardiologist next month so we just got to keep on keeping on. Hello. Hi. Two words. Two words. Silent Oh, oh, little Tyler Duncan. A. I. 
A very little. small word. Little. The small. tiny. Me. The second one is little. Uh, right. Five words. <laughs> Egyptian sign language. First word. Mm. O. 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 Oh, kind of bottom. Oh, come on, you crazy. Yeah. <laughs> little. O. 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 Second o. word. Yeah. Little word. You want to do third word? Third Go word ahead. sounds like, right? <laughs> crown, crown, down. <laughs> crown, crown, crown. hard enough at these socks before buying them. <laughs> over here won $10 though. So. Yeah, I did. Ooh, Ooh the, the big winner. How much was spent on that card? Uh, okay. I so spending all the cards together for yep. $10. <laughs> Even when you win the lottery, you lose. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Last night for Christmas Eve, we went to my mom's family's house and celebrated with her side of the family. And then today, we're celebrating with my dad's side. We just finished doing all of the Christmas morning stuff with the stockings and the gifts. And now my family has gone over to my aunt's house for Christmas dinner. My aunt only lives a couple blocks away, so we decided that the rest of my family should go over and have the Christmas dinner. And then they would come and pick me up after the food is done. That way we can just try to spare me any extra allergic reactions. Plus, I have a few nebulizers and some meds to do still, so it's nice to have a little bit of extra time alone. I'm still in my Christmas nightgown. Tell me that you guys have Christmas nightgowns, too. 
This is the aftermath. Does everybody else's house look like this on Christmas morning? Anyway, I should go get ready. <laughs> I take back everything I said earlier. Literally a kid. <laughs> Smile, you only turned 21 once. Ready? Yeah. Everybody? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday <laughs> to you. I'm not. Can't be out. <laughs> <laughs> Take three. One, two, two three. three. Smile, smile, smile. <laughs> I had a really amazing Christmas. I am just so, so thankful that I was able to be at home and with my loved ones this year and that I was feeling well. This was probably the first Christmas in maybe like 10 years that I wasn't sick. Last year I was really sick and I was getting ready to have surgery a couple days later and the year before I was actually in the hospital having just had surgery I think Christmas Eve. So needless to say, I am just so grateful that this year was not a hospital Christmas. <laughs> and more than that, I just feel like I was able to actually participate and to actually enjoy myself. But now it's past midnight, so guess what? It's my birthday. I better hurry up and get to sleep because we are having a lot of people over tomorrow and I'm exhausted. I honestly cannot believe how fast a week goes. Thank you guys so much for coming along on another week with me. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. I hope that your Christmas wasn't a hospital Christmas. And if it was, I hope that you were able to make the best of it. I promise that it can get better. If you liked this video, remember to give it a like and subscribe because that really helps me know what you guys want to see. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.